Hello everyone, this is Teacher Louise, your mommy tutor. Okay, today I'll be discussing about finding LCD of dissimilar fractions. In my previous lessons or videos, I'd, I have discussed about LCD, LCM, and GCF. And also, I even discussed about uh, adding fractions with similar and dissimilar. May tinuro akong ibang tapi, uh, way doon sa pagkuha ng uh, LCD or how to make the denominator the same. So, this time, magpo-focus tayo sa pag-change ng dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, fractions with different denominators. So, we need to make this two denominators the same in order for us to add the fractions. Kasi yun yung rule pag mag-a-add tayo at magsusubtract ng fractions. We cannot add the fractions unless pareho sila ng denominator. So, this time, I will be discussing about finding the LCD. Okay, from the word LCD, this is least common denominator. So, denominator because we need to make the denominator the same. Okay, so we can find the LCD of this similar fraction using two ways. So, may dalawa kong way na ituturo sa inyo today. And that is using the LCM. Yung pagkuha ng LCM, last time na-discuss ko yan, yung pagkuha ng LCM at GCF. At we can also use to get the LCD using listing. Okay? So, listing at pagkuha ng LCD using LCM. So, sa pagkuha ng LCM, pwede natin gamitin ang two ways, ang um, factor 3 at ang um, continuous division. So, dito, ang gagawin lang natin is we need to get the LCD of 3 and 5. So, kung factors ng 3, pag gagamitin natin ang pagkuha ng LCM, yun ay susulat natin dito 3 at saka 5. Gagamitin natin yung continuous division. Sa 3 at 5, ano ang common number na pwede mag-divide sa kanila? That is only 1. So, 3 divided by 1 is 3 and 5 divided by 1 is 5. So, since 1 lang yung common na number na pwede mag-divide sa kanila, ibig sabihin, tong 3 at 5 na to ay nasa prime numbers. These are, these 3 and 5 are prime numbers. And because of that, we can get the LCM by multiplying the ones outside here until this one. Because 1 na yun, ibig sabihin, there's no other number that can divide them both. Okay, so we have to multiply 1 times 3 times 5 and that is 15. So, ang LCM nito ay 15. Okay, so since ang LCM niya is equal to 15, yung LCM na yan is also known as the LCD. LCD because makikita siya sa denominator part. Okay, another one is Kapag nakita mo yung number na ganito, last time na-discuss ko yan sa pag-aad ng fractions, na dissimilar fraction, another way to get the LCD of this one is you interchange the denominator. So, meaning, eto, multiply mo lang sila. So, we have to multiply this by times 5 and then this one by times 3. So, i-interchange mo siya. Pag in-interchange mo yan, pareho pa rin na ang susunod, ang magiging denominator nito will be 15. At dito ay magiging 15. So, because 3 times 5 is 15 and 5 times 3 is 15. Then, of course, pag minultiply natin to ng 5, kailangan i-multiply din natin to ng 5 at eto i-multiply natin ng 3. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng new set of fractions. But this time, that fraction will be with same denominator already. Okay? So, ang LCD dito ay 15. Okay? So, ang answer dito, LCD is 
15. So, ang titingnan lang natin ay yung nasa baba. Eto. Okay? 3 times 5. So, yung LCD ay 15. So, yun yung pagkuha ng LCM. Using, to get the LCD using LCM. Or, this one by interchanging. Or, another one is through listing. So, paano naman pag sinabi nating listing? Ang listing, ang gagawin lang natin mag skip count tayo. At ang pinakaunang number na common sa kanila, yun yung list common denominator or LCD nila. So, yung 3, eto 3, ililist down natin yung 3 at saka 5. So, kapag listing, skip counting. Ang gagawin natin. So, multiples of 3 tayo, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Pag 5 naman, multiples of 5, so, skip count by 5 tayo, 5, 10, 15. So, as you can see, the first number common to 3 and 5 is 15. Both of them has a common multiple of 15. That's why we say that the LCD of 3 and 5 is 15. So, this is the same as that one. Okay? So, yun ang pagkuha ng LCD. Okay, gagamit tayo using LCM, gagamit tayo through listing, or pwede rin gumamit tayo by just interchanging the denominators, multiplying the denominators, interchange them. Okay, another one, what if we have this kind of fraction naman? So, again, we can get the LCD of this fraction by getting the LCM or by listing. Okay? But if we do this by listing, you need to take note 9 at 18. Ano tong 9 at 18 na to? Ang 9 at 18, ang 18 ay multiples ng 9. So, ibig sabihin, dahil multiple siya ng 9, you don't need to multiply anything to... 18 but instead just multiply 9 by what? by times 2 okay to make the denominator the same so pwede nating i-multiply lang yan ng times 2 to make the denominator the same so therefore masasabi natin na ang LCD nito is equal to 18 why? Because if you skip count by 9, makukuha natin ng 9, 18, 27, and so on and so forth. Pag 18, mag skip count tayo by 18. So, start tayo ng 18, and then 36, and so on and so forth. So, as you can see, pag nag skip count tayo, makikita natin dito na common sa kanila ang 18. That's why masasabi natin na ang LCD ng 9 at 18 ay 18. Okay? So, that's using listing or just think of the multiples. This is not always true. Okay? Depende lang yon Pag doon sa number na given, yung dalawang denominator, para maging pareho, ay multiple ng isang number. Okay? Another one is, pwede mo rin siyang kunin again with finding the LCM. So, finding the LCM, pag gagamitin natin ng LCM, 9 at saka 18. So, this 9 and 18 can be divisible by what number? It can be by 3. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 18 divided by 6, eh, 18 divided by 3 is 6. Again, pwede pa siya ma-divide by 3 again. 3 divided by 3 ay 1. 6 divided by 3 ay 2. Okay, so since 1 and 2, wala nang ibang number na pwede mag-divide sa kanila, maliban sa 1, so ibig sabihin, kukunin na natin yung LCM. And LCM is the ones outside here. Ka eto, common, at saka yung natira dyan. So, 3 times 3 is 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18. So, again, ang LCM dito ay 
18. At pareho siya dito. Okay? LCM, LCD pareho. Don't forget that. Okay? So, even through listing, pareho pa rin. Makukuha natin 18. So, may three ways kayo in order to get the LCD of the fraction to make it the same. Okay? And of course, doing that, kapag minultiply mo to ng 2, kailangan mo rin itong i-multiply ng 2 to make the denominator and the new numerator the same. Okay? Next, another one. Paano naman kapag may tatlong numbers? Tatlo yung fractions mo at different yung denominators mo. So, again, ang gagamitin natin dito ay listing. So, I would suggest pwedeng listing, pwedeng LCM. So, dito gagamitin natin ng listing. So, isusulat natin 8, 5, and 10. So, mag skip count tayo. Okay? So, mag skip count tayo by 8. So, 8. 16, 24, 32, 40. Ang 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. At ang 10 ay 10, 20, 30, 40. So, dito pa lang, sa listing na yan, makikita natin na meron ng common number. Common multiples ng tatlong number na yan. And that is 40. 40 and 40. So, ibig sabihin, ang LCD ng 8, ng 5, at ng 10 ay 40. Okay, so in other words, pag ang LCD ay 40, eto, paano siya magiging 40? Imumultiply mo yung 8 ng times 5, times 5 para maging yung denominator pareho, at eto, times 8, times 8 para yung denominator maging 40, at tong 10 times 4, at times 4 din sa taas, para yung maging denominator niya ay 40, at magkakaroon tayo ng new set of numerators okay so that's how we get the lcd using listing pag gagamitin naman natin ang lcm using the continuous division pareho pa rin ang lalabas so how will you do that still i-divide mo yan 8 5 at saka 10 so dito Ang number, common number na pwede ma-divide ay yung 5 at saka 10. So, 5 ilalabas natin dyan. 5 cannot be dito sa 8 pero ibababa mo lang yan. But then, since dalawang number ang pwedeng ma-divide ng 5, kaya possible na gawin on. Okay? So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5, 10 divided by 5 is 2. For this one, another 2 numbers can be divisible. And that is... 8 and 2 by 2. So, 2, 4 divided by, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then, just bring down 1 here and then 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, since yung mga numbers dito ay wala nang uh, 2 numbers maliban sa 1 na pwede ma-divide, we can say na pwede na nating eto yung mga numbers na multiply natin. Okay? So, since 1 na lang yung common dyan. So, ibig sabihin 1 na lang yung common denominator nila. So, if you multiply that, 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 4 is 40. Times 1 is 40. And times 1 again is 40. That's why we say the LCM here is equal to 40, which is the same as the 1, the LCD, and this one. Okay? So, ganyan ang pagkuha ng LCD in three ways. Okay? So, another one, para mas maintindihan. Another one, eto naman, kapag 25 at 20. So, sa 25 at 20, ang gagamitin na lang natin ngayon ay ang listing. Okay? So, ano-ano yung mga numbers when we do listing here? Pwede tayong... Mag-skip count. 25, 50, 
75 and 100. So, 20 naman, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. And as you can see here, both of them my common number or common multiple and that is 100 and 100. And because of that, we say that the LCD is 100. Okay? So, how do you make the LCD 100? Meaning, mag skip count ka dyan. 25, ilang beses? To get 100, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why you need to multiply this by 4. So, pag minultiply mo to ng 4 again, multiply mo yan ng 4 doon. Okay? So, etong 20, ilang beses ka nag skip count to get 100? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin, multiply mo yan ng times 5 at times 5. Para, pag minultiply mo yan... 20 times 5 is 100 at 25 times 4 is still 100. So, ang LCD niyan ay 100. Okay? Next is this one. The 4, 7, 3, 28, and 5, 14. As you can see here, 7, 28, and 14. So, different denominator. But, take note, 7, 28, and 14... 28, 14 are multiples of 7. So, pag nag-skip count tayo, 7, 28, at 14, pag nag-skip count tayo sa 7, 7, 14, 21, 28. Ito, 28 naman dito, and then next is 56, and so on and so forth. By 14, that will be 14, 28, and then so on and so forth. Okay, so from here pa lang makikita mo na meron na silang common number and that is the common multiple 28, 28, and 28. It's because 28 and 14 is a multiple of 7 when you do skip counting by 7. Okay, so masasabi natin na ang LCD nito is equal to 28. So, to get, to make the LCD 28, how many times did you multiply or how many times did you skip count to give you 28 as the answer in 7? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you multiply this by, by times 4. And then here, it's only 1. So, you don't need to multiply anything here. Wala ka na yung multiply dyan. And then by 14, how many times? Para maging 28, it's 1 and 2. That's why ito yung multiply mo siya ng times 2. And then again, magiging pareho na mga denominator nila kasi 4 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 28. And then 14 times 2 is 28. Okay? So, to make the denominator, if you make the denominator all the same by getting the LCD, of course, again, kung ano yung multiply mo rito, yun din yung multiply mo dun sa taas. Ito times 2. Para pag nire-write mo na ang mga fractions mo na pare-pareho ng denominator, mag-iiba din lagi yung nasa numerator niya. Don't forget that. Okay? So, that's how we get the LCD of fractions, of this similar fraction. So, you can use listing or you can also use the getting of LCM. Okay? So, I hope you learned something today on how to get the LCD of this similar fractions. Okay? So, that's it for today. Again, this is Teacher Luis, your mommy tutor. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel and ring the notification bell para maging updated kayo sa lahat po ng mga videos na gagawin ko pa in the near future. At kung mayroong kayong mga suggestions, kung ano man yung mga videos na gusto nyo, feel free to message me para po magawaan ko ng video and that I could help you guys. Bye! Thank you!